Hello, everybody. <coughs> As you can hear, Sebastian somehow is sick again. Um, I haven't been recording very much just because I feel uh, I feel like I'm in a weird spot. Not really sure where I am mentally, emotionally. I'm just in a weird little weird little place but i just want to check in and let you know that we are good sebastian i i don't know what's up with the camera focusing i'm over it <laughs> um sebastian had a great time at his grandma and grandpa's house i did take a cute little video uh that was sunday super bowl sunday when we picked him up and um he was in the car while geo ran into the store i've been meaning to uh, to make that video i just haven't but those are cute little clips. Sorry, let me clarify. We picked Sebastian up and then Sebastian and I were in the car together while Gio ran into the store to get some stuff for uh, Super Bowl Sunday. We went to his cousin's house and I took a little bit of footage of that day. So I'll probably just attach it because Sebastian um, was really cute when we got him back. He was in a really happy, funny, cute mood. And then like yesterday, he just, I don't know, he woke up with a fever and today he's had a fever. So if he doesn't have, if his fever doesn't go away by um, tomorrow, I'm going to take him in just to make sure nothing's going on because you know Sebastian. But um, other than that, he's been very, very good. He just, he has some type of little bug or something. It is Valentine's Day today. Gio and I aren't super, super big on Valentine's Day, but he's been saying randomly that he's been craving lobster mac and cheese, which in the nine, eight, nine years that I've known him, I don't think we've ever had that together. Um, but anyway, after I put Sebastian in bed tonight, I am going to make some lobster mac and cheese and surprise Gio with that. And that's really all we have planned for the evening. Um, Gio and I are going to just probably maybe watch a movie or something tonight i'm not sure uh, again we're not like super big on valentine's day or anything like that so we'll probably just enjoy the lobster mac and cheese and that's about it as far as um as far as me i feel like i'm going through something and i don't know what it is i don't know if it's like delayed stress response or like depression to everything that we've been through the last couple of months but I just um I don't really feel like myself so I don't know how many videos I'm going to be posting in the next couple of days hopefully I can still continue to check in it seems like this channel is a nice outlet for me to process some things and that's all a part of just going through this journey with Sebastian, we have really scary stuff that we've been through and really wonderful stuff. And then in between all of that, I'm still human and I still have to process all of that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I think I'm on that journey at this time in our lives. I think I am doing some processing so anyway, if you're interested in sticking around for an easy lobster macaroni and cheese recipe, please do that. And if not, I hope that I can bring um, better content to you later on in the week. In the meantime, I'm going to get this little kid ready for bed. He seems to have some energy tonight. Earlier today, he was not very energetic. He was very sleepy. But you have some energy tonight. That's nice to see. Yeah. Do you have a fun time at Grandma and Grandpa's house? Yeah? <laughs> Good. That makes me very happy for you. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm happy for you. <laughs> You're a good kid. Oh, no. <laughs> I say, what the heck? We're going to see you next weekend. <laughs> We're gonna go watch football now. Boo! Boo! No me lleves a ver the football, mama. <laughs> mm. I missed you. Hi! I missed you. What are you doing? Did you have 
What did you grab a sauce? Here, let me put this shade up. Goodness gracious, it's right in your face. I missed you so much. We're gonna go watch some football. What do you think about that? I don't know, Mom. I don't know. Getting ready to watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> Get daddy. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. Oh. Careful. When anybody wants to eat, it's my tea. Oh, oh. Oh. Mr. Man is sleeping, so I'm gonna move on to the lobster recipe. I have it pulled up on my iPad here. As you may have read, the first thing you're going to do is get a pot of salted water boiling and then you're going to add your lobster tails. I got these from Jewel. They're 10 ounces each and the instructions for cooking for boiling lobster is um, every minute per ounce. So I'm going to put these four tails into the water for 20 minutes. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit more salt. This is really the majority of the seasoning for the lobster tails. <sighs> Rest in peace, little buddies. Thank you for this meal. And I'm sorry that you had to die. Ugh, I like the way that feels. Ugh. I don't even like seafood. Did you know that? When we go out to sushi on Fridays, I order chicken. <laughs> I don't even eat sushi. Whoop. All right, we're gonna let that boil for 20 minutes. And then, oh no, I just got lobster juice on my hand. Hold on. Let that boil for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, I don't know if you can hear me because of Nala. And then once it's all done, you're gonna take the lobster tails out and cut them so you can pull the meat out and cut the meat up. So that's what we're gonna do. Just a quick rookie tip. Don't walk away from your lobster because it will boil over and attempt to ruin this experience. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. My lobster fiasco um, is still cooking. While I'm waiting for that to cook, I just got all my seasonings together so I can get ready to add them to the sauce. So it's all these seasonings right here. Old Bay, truffle, why is it so blurry? Truffle seasoning, garlic powder, smoked paprika. So I put all of those in here with a little bit of pepper. And then I'm gonna get all the other stuff, the, the butter and the flour and all that stuff prepared. Um, also gonna start baking, <coughs> baking, boiling noodles, which is just these elbow macaroni. They're from Aldi. And then um, don't forget to preheat your your oven. Okay, we're, we're gonna do this. We're getting this together. All right, the lobsters look good. This is my first time doing this, so I don't really know how. Oh, that's easier than I thought. I hope there's a good amount of meat in there. Ugh, that's not even that much meat. Maybe it's not cooked all the way and that's why it's not tearing apart. Ooh, that's hot. This is gross. Yeah, 
Give me, give me the mate. Okay. One down, four to go. <laughs> I'm gonna do that first. One down, three to go. Jeez. Can you tell my brain is just tired? I'm gonna do that three more times. <laughs> this second one was way more meaty. That's nice. Look at this first one was a dud. This one is good meat. Sorry again that you had to die. Okay, our water is boiling, so I'm gonna add about half, oh my lord, about half the box of noodles, and then I'm gonna cut up this lobster. It's not that much lobster. I'm a little disappointed, I will say that, but that's okay. It's very windy. Cut it up. That's Nala in the background. Nice and thin. I don't know if I said this earlier, but that last lobster was a dud. So annoying. I knew I should have went with my gut and bought one more pack. I also don't know if I already said that. <laughs> but I think I should have gotten just a little bit more. Um lobster. Are you okay, Nala? Yeah, that's not that much. Dang it. That's okay. That's okay. Also, the recipe does not call for this part. You know me. I always have to go a little rogue. The recipe calls for Old Bay seasoning. I'm just going to put a little bit right on top. It's just regular Old Bay while this sits here so that can kind of get some of that Cajun flavor while our noodles boil and I get ready. Once the noodles are like halfway, almost done, that's when I'll start in the sauce so I can kind of incorporate everything uh, while it's still warm. Noodles are like half the way there, so I'm gonna start working on the cream or whatever you wanna call it. So I got three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour, my seasonings, it's a cup and a half of milk and a cup of heavy whipping cream. So we're gonna melt the butter first and then add in the flour, kind of whisk it. Oh, Sebastian's feet is done, one second. Okay. Okay, we're back at it. <laughs> Basically, once your butter is melted and you add your flour, you wanna whisk it until the flour is completely mixed in. And then you're gonna add all your other, your milk, your heavy cream, and your seasonings to that, and then your cheese. Make sure that you're cooking everything on medium heat. I have a tendency to have everything up way too high and it's spilling all over the place. By the way, my Aunt Lori um, was watching my video about making muffins and she heard that I did not have a whisk. So she sent me this whisk. <laughs> Once you pour the milk in, you're gonna wanna let that cook on like a medium heat for like two to three minutes is what the recipe calls for. And you basically want to just get all the chunks of the flour gone while you're doing this. Hopefully I can achieve that. I don't know, it says to whisk it. Am I whisking it? 30 years old, this is the first time I've had a whisk of my own. The chefs watching this channel right now are probably grinding their teeth. <laughs> That's okay. Oh. I have a little bit of anxiety tonight. I don't know why. I feel very anxious. This cooking helps. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing this for the next two minutes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add in, it says slowly add in, whisk in your heavy cream. I don't know. Hope there's enough room in this pan for all the cheese. Okay. Again, 
that was a cup and a half of milk and then a cup of heavy cream, three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour. And then it says to add in your seasonings. All right. Let's mix this all together. I sure hope this tastes good. Okay, now that that's getting boily like that, I'm gonna start adding my cheese. I'm using triple cheese. I can get the bag open. Ugh. Okay, triple cheese. It says use half the bag for now. And then sharp cheddar. I have no clue what that noise now is making is. Sharp cheddar. And then mozzarella. Or as the Italian people might say, mozzarella. I don't know, I could have been making that up. I don't mean to offend anybody, I'm just trying to make it funny. Okay, let's start incorporating this. Whoa. I think I'm gonna have to get a bigger pan. Ooh, this is exciting. It's coming together. I feel like there's something in here. I don't know what that was. Look at that cheesy pool. Nice. All right, I think I cooked way too much pasta, so I'm gonna start out slow. Let me just see. You can't tell from here, but in my opinion, I could use a little more mac. Oops, I just shook the whole camera. Oh, uh, that might be too much. We'll find out. So the mac and cheese to lobster ratio <laughs> is not matching, but that's okay. <laughs> I think it's still gonna be really good. All right, let's see. How am I gonna do this? This is so heavy. Whoa. <laughs> that was, that was very nice. Oh my God. Nala, can you sing something? Can you sing something? Nala. God, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My Okay, let me mix this a little bit. I don't really know how I'm supposed to mix it in. Maybe just like that. This might actually be okay. I, I felt like there wasn't going to be enough lobster. But now I'm thinking we might be all right. I'm going to add some Old Bay on top. And then a little more cheese for baking purposes. You're gonna bake this in the oven. The recipe says for like 30 minutes or until the cheese that I'm putting on top is um, like a little brown. Do you guys wanna see a quick behind the scenes? And Gio doesn't get off work until 9. It's only 8.26, so I'm not going to put this in the oven until like 8.50 or so. Just so it comes out of the oven fresh for him right when he gets home. So in the meantime, I'm going to clean all this up. <laughs> not to fear, my kitchen is back intact. <laughs> also, my Aunt Lori sent me this cute little dish towel that looks like a dress. Isn't that funny? We've got the mac and cheese waiting to go in. It is, whoa. 848, 846. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the mac and cheese in soon. 
By the way, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. If you stuck around for this entire video, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. I'm gonna put this in the oven and then I'm not sure that I'm gonna film it coming out, but it's gonna look the same, just a little bit toasty and nice. And then Gio and I are gonna enjoy our mac and cheese and probably watch a movie. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. So ba basically just imagine this mac and cheese a little bit golden. <laughs> That's what it's gonna look like. All right, everybody. Say good night. Say good night. We'll see you guys probably tomorrow, hopefully. You say good night, Zeus. He's waiting for something to drop on the floor. Zeus, come. What are you eating? Something Nala dropped. Say bye. We'll see you guys. <laughs>